So I guess we're gonna do a, this is what it takes to get ready to go racing video. So the kid cuts up a bunch of new bumpers and hasn't gotten rid of them all. So we gotta move them. Come on, right. Throw them, throw them, throw them. Brand new cut up bumpers. All right. Oh, damn it, Beavis. B for back door. Ooh, yeah, back door. And then it's stuck because it's been 95 degrees all week. What a mess. All right. First thing first, I guess. Well, we're gonna need this out and this out and this one. I think that one's already over there. Yeah, he's already over. Oh, but that's not the good one. I want the good one. I want the good one. These are both the good ones. But whatever. I can go up there. This guy can go up here. That's where he's gonna end up. I got us plugged in, got the battery hooked up because them are all been off. It's been a little while, about a, three weeks since we last raced. Eh, a couple weeks. Got to put a handle on there. All right. There we go. This can stay. lubricated alright table my homemade wheel chalk pretty nifty if I must say yourself And then we just roll the bike in here. But I didn't get this down because I was a dumbass. I'll do it when I get there. Not a biggie. Then we're gonna go up here. You go over here. Laundry, no ticky, no laundry. More like. This weekend we will need a generator. I doubt they. Have. I've never been here. It's new to me. It's only like 45 minutes away, I guess. So that's. Pick the closest race to ever for other than Bundy Hill to where I'm at. Most time, most times I gotta drive three, four hours if I can go race something good. This one, the loose, the loose moose. A couple years ago, the National Enduro in the UP, man, Marquette. Eight years with this camper, or eight, <laughs> eight years, eight hours of road time. Oh, it sucked. Glinda was following us and hers and a couple of construction things it took forever. It probably took us 10, 11 hours to get up there. Crappé. So. I got some fluids I got to put in there too. So these guys can come out. Let's see, so the generator's in. I think the fridge is all empty and cool. Good to go. It needs cleaned out. Alright. Where 
we're gonna run the 125 this weekend. Cause that's what I do. Uh, 250. She's got power. But it just, when you're 60, it just wears you out too much. And I gotta use my left foot and my left hand a little more with this thing, but oh my God, 206 pounds. Maybe I gotta be close to a stock weight. I haven't added much, but that. So. It's wicked kill, as the guy from Boston would say. Sam Adams. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever on the bars. I don't care what you guys think. Oh, Oops. <laughs> Fuck that one. <laughs> Good thing I just washed everything. So, I know a lot of guys don't do this. This guy at the dealership when I bought this, and I broke this out and put it in my side of and shit, and he's like, what's that? Dude, put it in, showed him, he's like, huh, I ain't never seen nobody do that before. Okay, and you work at a dealer? Oh, it's always tough to get in there by yourself. All right, we got a little extra blockage here. There, we're strutting our stuff now. Woo! All right. This puppy goes back here again. Again. Showing you guys like every little friggin' thing I gotta do. Socks. I'm flying solo so far this weekend. Uh, uh, uh. And I don't wanna lay on my bike. I'll put this down here. So I ain't gonna need shit. Right, life is better at the campsite. Probably don't even need that this weekend. A lot of this shit just been in here and then it's good, 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 good. Don't need that. It's a mandatory in case we don't want spark arrestor or something. I got spark arrestor. That in a minute. Oh wait. Wrong way. All right, oh. before I get everything out. Uh. I think something else went flinging tube. Oh yeah, two as in two. Um. This one just a little, it was a little crack too, yeah. all this heat we had. Alright, um, since I'm flying solo, I'm not gonna need that. And, and our other, and I have race, I guess. 
a race of gasoline. Shit, I got like, I got plenty of gas for the weekend. Plus the bike's got some in it. Cause we're doing five to seven miles a loop on a test section. Doing that like six times. So about 30 miles for the day. I would say 30 to 35. So, um, I think we'll have, there's shit, there's a couple gallons here, plus what's in the bike. Yeah, that's some, that's some mixed race gas there with some premium. So, um, tools, I'm not gonna go overboard. I got the butt plug for the exhaust. I got my little box with my mini thing and then I need this. Don't need that in there. Come on. I'm gonna do that on the YZ next on the 250. I'll just throw him in there. That's a nice tool pack for a bike. Got everything for the bike in there. Got our little ratchet. Plus I got a whole kit in the truck. So I got some tools. Plus this has a driver level out the camper and everything. So take care of that. I'm gonna need my jump box. I gotta grab the jump box. This puppy needs filled with water. So uh, water. Water, water. Oh, I got to fill the camper with water too. It's all been drained, except for the the toilet, the holding tank. It's not a septic tank. It's only a holding tank for your waste. And you fill that with a mix of some Calgon and pine saw and water, and you put that in the tank. And, Put about five gallons in it. I think it's like a 15 gallon, 20 gallon tank. Put like five gallons in it. And when you're driving, it sloshes around and cleans things and makes it smell nice. It's kind of soapy and keeps it clean. Works good. This is for after the race and you want to dive into a bucket of water. That's all that goes in this fresh we got pretty good water here. Test great. This is right off the well. I just use it how to tell after a race. Just dive in and splash off and wash off with some nice cool water. Set it in the shade. Works pretty good. Plus it's extra water if you gotta do some wash some dishes or anything. This is another thing that we do. I know, watching water go. We'll be doing a little bit of that here. Friggin' mosquitoes, man. That's why I got mosquito dunks in there and some crap. So they'll go there instead on me. Go kill their babies. Oh no, you're killing babies. Baby mosquitoes. All right. All right. See the little floor mat I made for this. Your hoser. Damn it. I gotta put this up too. <clears throat> Bill Murray. Caddyshack. Classic.
but don't take long man a few minutes that thing's overflowing i always forget about it Whew. okay that's a that's the start then there's probably part two like the finish up bullshit a little this and that oh yeah i need this i need that and arranging everything but oh i gotta get my gear bag all that so there's more i'm just i need a break for a second it's like 95 still yeah 90. <laughs>